G'day everyone, Greg here from Fish Plate Films and welcome back to the VNSF Build Subdivision. Well, as promised, today we'll be reviewing the Wi-Fi Tracks Wi-Fi NCE Cab Bus Interface. Now this little module here, which is made in Australia, uh, will let you run your trains through your NCE system with your phones, so or your phone or a tablet or any uh, smart device, laptop, tablet, phone, whatever. Now, you, of course, you can do that now with JMRI, but you need to have JMRI, you need to have a computer, you need to have a modem hooked up to the computer and all that sort of stuff, which is fine. JM, JMRI is fantastic. But if you don't have it, or if you just want a simple way of remote controlling your trains, or should I say untethered with, uh, with your phone, using an app that you put on your phone, this Australian invention is great. And also you can use it as a, sort of a UTP panel uh, this daisy chains off here and uh, daisy chains one to another and you can just put it in line with your other UTV panels. You can't plug a cab into it, let's just say that. Anyway, um, very simple to hook up and it basically allows any phone, whether uh, Apple or Android, to become a cab. Now the cabs that you download onto your phone, they're the software, this is the hardware. The software has nothing to do with Wi-Fi tracks. There are a few manufacturers uh, that make uh, app applications, apps for cabs. I'm using Apple's, uh, the one for Apple, uh, what is it? Y-Throttle, I think it is. There's several. Uh, I don't particularly like touch screens. Uh, I prefer buttons and knobs that you can feel. And there is actually uh, a Wi-Fi cab you can buy, uh, which I'm looking at, but I'm sure more will come on as time. But that is a simple, quick, Thing. A lot of people I know don't mind using phones to control this stuff. This is about $140 Australian, so that's about $2.50 American. Uh, is a great, very simple, and allows you to use your phone to operate your trains. And of course, the, uh, the, th the cabs on your phones, you can, uh, they're really cheap. Uh, you can either get, for the Apple, you can get uh, Y throttle. Uh, sorry, is it Y throttle? Uh, you can get a simple version for nothing. Or the complex version, which have more buttons, I think, is fourteen dollars. So you know, that's pretty good. And you can run four cabs or four phones, I should say, off this one module. You can do more, but you have to muck around with dip switches, and it gets a little bit complicated. So let's hook this up. It's really easy, and let's pair a new phone to it, my old iPhone four, and see how it goes. So here we go. Here's a uh, closer look, and we have our cab bus connectors here and they use a your standard flat pin, uh, flat socket. Now it has to be a six pin. There we go, your standard six pin that goes to all your UTP panels. And it has to have the, now they call it non-reversed cable, uh, but actually what it means is that you still have to reverse the, so if you're making your own cable, the socket at this end has to go on the op reverse to the other end. And that's actually a non-reversed cable, if that makes any sense. A reverse cable is if you put this little socket here the same way on each end. But you want the, you want the socket to mirror the other end. So in this case, this cable here, uh, the upside is got the little rib on the back of the cable. The other end of the cable, it'll be on the smooth side. So if you get them the wrong way, it won't work. So plug them into there. So we'll do that now. The system is on. Where are we? Right. So we get our red LED to show there's power. And in a minute, we'll get a blue LED up here. There we go. That shows that the system's working. And now what we need to do is get our phone and find this Wi-Fi hotspot. Like, uh, like anywhere. If you're with your phone, you want to find your free Wi-Fi or whatever. Uh, this is exactly the same. So let's get the phone and we'll do that. Okay, so here we've got the old uh, iPhone iPhone 4. This is the phone that I bought to go to America in 2015. And she's still rocking on, but I, I bought the uh, SE now, which is looks like this only it's the uh, next one. I don't like big phones. Anyway, so now we have to find the Wi-Fi network. So here we go, we've got Wi-Fi not connected. I don't even have a SIM card in this phone anymore, so we'll go to that. And now it's searching, looking, 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 look, and there you go. Wi-Fi tracks, WFD 30. So I shall go to that one. 
click on that. And it's looking, looking, looking. There we go. And you can see the ticks come up. Now, what we should have now, we'll go get out of that. And we'll go to the cab. I can see, hope you can see this, which is on the phone. There we go. Now, we don't want routes and turnouts yet. Uh, we'll, we'll get rid of that. Uh, system name. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Now, I can see on the uh, Wi-Fi module that there is a green light flashing. Oh, there you go. If I move the phone, you can see that. There we go. That means we're connected. It is that easy. Now, if you have dramas, there's a really nice uh, manual that comes with it. And there's also even more info on their website. So, uh, I mean, this hooked up really easy. You know what phones are like. You know what computers are like. Uh, sometimes it's really easy. Some of you might have an absolute shit fight trying to do it. Um, and the manual and the, the service is really good. So, uh, but, you know, Apple stuff's pretty good for hooking stuff up. As I say, I've done three phones now. I've been done, put it on the work phone and works a treat. No problem at all. Uh, if you have Android, um, I'm sure there's, there's different ways for that too. That's pretty easy. So, okay, so we've got our green light flashing on our uh, module down there. So now, um, I haven't hooked up any locos on this yet, but on my other one I have. So let's go to keypad and we'll enter a consist. So we'll do the old uh, SD3839-2 up there. So it's one, uh, worry, eight, zero, three. Oops, one, eight, zero, oh God, Greg. Zero, three, yep, and press set. Oh, where are we? So we've done 1803, we've got a green light there that says it's registered that, and it's a locomotive. So now we go over to the throttle. There we go, and here's our throttle. There we go. Now, of course, this phone has a smaller screen so they've had to condense some of the features. Uh, if you have a bigger phone, it, it will be slightly different. The screen will be slightly different. And there are different ways you can change the phone. But remember, this app is nothing, is not, has anything to do with Wi-Fi tracks. This is, the, this is the magic down here, the module. This is just an app on the phone. Of course, you can get other ones as well. Okay, so we've got eight in there. Let's, let's see what happens. Whoop, there we go. I hear some noise. Radio, that's belted up. Let's see. Uh, F one's the horn. Uh, F two's the horn. There we go. And uh, let's go. Let's go and see if we can move this thing. Now, you can see that this time the uh, the throttle slider is on the other side. You can change the cab around. There's a few different cab uh, configurations that you can do. And but anyway, I, I, I like the, the slider on this side. So. Uh, where are we? Put some lights on. Let's see, well, I should be doing it on the other side, shouldn't we? There we go. And a horn. Now let's see what happens. There, here we go. And it's numbered there to see how many speed steps you're on, which is good because I drive by speed steps. So I know when to notch up and when to notch down. So I like to know how many speeds and what, what speed step I'm on. And we can also slide the screen up, go to F11. God, this is hard to, maybe 11 for our brakes. There we go. And of course, reverse our direction. Give it a couple of notches. And release F11. There we go. So as you can see, it's really, really easy to set this up. And 
Just pull him up there, F11. There we go. Turn the lights off. Now I have to, sh have to scroll, where are we? Scroll down the screen here to get back to lights. Only because the old iPhone 4 is such a small screen uh, compared to the newer ones. And that really is it. It is that easy to hook up and very reliable. And of course, made in Australia, which is fantastic. Just like Wi-Fi. Now we can see here, we've got our red light on, shows power, blue light is showing uh, service is correct. And our green light flashing means that there is a throttle connected. Now, as I said before, you can hook up four phones to this at, at one time. And if you play with these uh, dip switches here, you can actually add even more phones, but it gets a little bit complicated. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think you probably need more than four, but if you, if you do, if you want to have more than four devices, you can. It means you have to muck around with these dip switches and get into the manual a little bit more. Now, also, another thing is that being a, uh, a modem, it does get a bit warm and you get a really nice mounting pack with little bolts and screws that go through here and little spaces. And what they recommend to do is you mount this either on a fascia somewhere and you space it out from the wall because the back here is the heat sink. Well, I'm going backwards here. All this here is the heat sink and it gets a little bit warm, so don't screw it flat to a surface. It comes with some nice little spaces, nylon spaces, and space it away. So it gets some, uh, some air around it. And they actually suggest putting in a little box that you get from an electronic store and use the spaces and drill a couple of holes, mount the box, and then you can just bring your cables up through here. And of course, if you want to carry this cable on to another UTP panel, or even another one of these, you can just daisy chain out of that, and you're good to go. Well, there you have it. You can see how easy that was for me to hook up. So if I can do it, anybody can. It's really easy. And works very well. I've tried it throughout the whole layout here, even outside. Uh, you know, Wi-Fi is more of a line of, line of sight thing, but it works very well in this room. So unless you have a really huge room, shoot, it won't be a problem. And uh, very easy, i say the apps, you can get different apps on the phone, different actual cabs uh, to go with the Wi-Fi wi -Fi tracks module. Of course, there's nothing to do with these guys. These guys make the hardware. You go and select what cab you want. And so they also do other things like, uh, what have we got? We've got uh, turnout controllers for uh, switch machines with, with three Wi-Fi and uh, decoders for locomotives and switching, yeah, all sorts of stuff. So check them out. Wi-Fi tracks, model science made in Australia. And very good stuff. For now, I think it's just all NCE. So for your Digitrax guys, I don't know whether they're doing something for Digitrax down the, down the road, but definitely for NCE. And as you saw, very easy to hook up, really simple. And they, their support network is really good, very good manuals uh, that you get with the module and also a really good online manual too that shows you how to um, trick it up if you want to put more cabs on, if you want to change the address. Uh, it comes with cab address 10, so all your cabs have a separate address. 10 should be fine for most things, but if you need to adjust the cab address, you can do that very easily as well with those dip switches. So there you go. So Wi-Fi was made, invented in Australia by the CSIRO, just down the road from where I am now, about 10 kilometers from here in Indrapilly by the CSIRO, and they are working on a radio protocol to map black holes, or the size of black holes out in the universe and uh, they managed to stumble across a way to uh, yeah, send data through the air, which is nothing new, of course. We've been doing that since the Titanic sunk. But what, what uh, Wi-Fi does is encrypt the data and make it secure uh, so no one can listen to it. Well, that's what it means. There's other things to it too. But, uh, and the term Wi-Fi is actually a branded name that was uh, given to the protocol uh, by a uh, what would you call it, an ad agency. So when the, uh, all the Wi-Fi companies got together, they had to sort of come up with a name for it. And the actual name is uh, EEE801 or something. And of course they said that's not very marketable. So uh, they had to come up with something and they just called it Wi-Fi. They come up with it and people think it's, it stands for wireless fidelity. It really, it stands for nothing. 
there you go. But the wireless fidelity thing is, is uh, you know, a bit of an urban legend, but it was made right here in Australia. People were mucking around with it on Hawaii back in, I think, in the late 80s. Between a couple of universities, they were doing um, radio stuff. But it wasn't until these guys here in Australia uh, were doing stuff with black holes and stumbled across a way to do it. And that's Wi-Fi. So there you go. So it's really cool that, that this uh, Wi-Fi track system uh, was also comes from Australia, the home of Wi-Fi. So you wouldn't know it here, though, because uh, they're too busy doing reality TV and football and crap, you know. We don't need to know the uh, interesting things about the country. No, no, of course not. Anyway, I love it. It's very good. And check it out if you've got NCE system. And, uh, yeah, I'll be using it with the old phone here, and I'll probably will end up getting a dedicated Wi-Fi cab uh, with a, a proper throttle and that. But I'm sure most people will be more than happy to use their phones. So there you go. Highly recommended, Fish Plate Films, uh, Wi-Fi tracks. Uh, what is it? WFD30 NCE cab bus Wi-Fi interface. There you go. All right, well, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next uh, Birdwood Sub update. Here for now, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. There we go. Horn F2.